Millions of people in the Northeast are bracing for winter storm Juno, which is forecasted to become an historic blizzard tonight through Wednesday. Following this story all day and joining us now is SNN's Christine McClarty. Christine? Thanks, John. A blizzard with more than two feet of snow and winds of a hurricane between 70 and 80 miles per hour have airports in the New York and Boston area in emergency high alert. Many here on the Sun Coast at SRQ Airport are now dealing with flight cancellations and delays. Well, of course it's inconvenient, but uh, you have to expect it with, with bad weather in, in, uh, in January in the Northeast. Vice President of SRQ Airport, Mark Stuckey, says this is the first major storm of the year affecting SRQ Airport. We've made it to the 25th of January with no flight cancellations due to weather, but starting today we will see the cancellations due to this first storm. The nor'easter, named Juno, is causing chaos. The airlines will be canceling their flights ahead of time so that it's easier for them to start back operations once the storm passes. SRQ Airport volunteer Marianne Richards says when a flight is canceled, usually it makes the airport less crowded. With today's technology, if a flight's been canceled, usually people know that and they don't even show up at the airport. But with flight delays, Many are left lingering at airport shops and restaurants. As you can see behind me, the delayed flights are leaving passengers no choice other than to sit and wait. Christopher Lightfoot and his wife live in New York, but their flight home is canceled. We're now hoping to fly into Philly this, this evening and get the train from there. Todd Gugueras and his wife from Canada say they expect to be the victims of Juno the Blizzard next. Just an hour north of Toronto, and uh, we understand there's no impact right now, but eventually could be making its way there. If you are flying up north, expect a lot of delays and cancellations. But one thing's for sure, if you're staying here, home on the Sun Coast, we won't be getting snow anytime soon. I certainly hope we're not getting any snow here, Christine. But this no. big storm event is having an effect here on the Sun Coast, right? It is, yes. We will be seeing some cooler weather this week, according to Chief Meteorologist Justin Mosley, who's keeping a close eye on the storm for us. All right. Thank you, Christine. Thank you.